I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. This is a great exercise if you're new to the game and you're just learning the scoring elements. Be sure to look for a link below the video so that you can download this player reference because I'm going to refer to it for this exercise and in many of the other videos. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way, you won't miss anything. We're going to use this wind of the round indicator and do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round. I'm also going to roll the dice just to randomize which seat we might be in for the exercise, because those two variables could be scoring elements for those drawn tiles. I rolled a five. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to be player one. And it is east round. So as player one, we get 14 tiles. For Mahjong competition rules, you've got to have a minimum of eight points. So immediately I see a pattern, eight, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. We could maybe do mixed triple chow. Chows are three in a sequence. So mixed triple chow is number 41 and that is eight points. So let's see if there's something else that we could do here I'm thinking discard the one dot one bam and the dragons because we could potentially play all simples as well. All simples are numbers two through eight. All simples is number 68 and that is two fawn. So I think what I would probably do is discard the dragons first. See how the drawing goes. If we draw chow tiles for the ones, keep them for options. But the thing is we have chow potential here and here. I think I would definitely discard these ones. Go for mixed triple chow and all simples. I think that's what I would do here as a start. There are other scoring elements that could be added on if you're playing in a pick and discard game. But for this exercise, I think that mixed triple chow on all simples is what I would shoot for here. Okay, we're going to go on to the next one. So this will be for south round. And this time, let's say we are going to be in west seat since I rolled a seven. Okay, for these tiles, one, two, pair of fives, five dots, two cracks, three bams, pair of honors, north. We're in west seat and it is the south round. So that in and of itself will not bring score. So I think what I would probably do here is shoot for a half flush. Half flush. Let's see, that's number 50, and that is six fawn. So we need two more fawn somewhere. Two more fawn. So we could do half flush all pung. We would have to pair up. 
if we did half flush all pung just as a target to go for number 49 is all pung and that is six fawn so that would be 12 fawn let's see if there's something else we could do if we fill in a sequence here we could maybe do a pure straight but that would be a vision <laughs> because we've got gaps we have no seven eight we do have the five here because you need a one two three four five six seven eight nine so we're really light on that third chow for pure straight pure straight is number 28 and that's 16 fawn There is a potential chow here. If we play half flesh, we'd have five discards. If we play all simples, two through eight, we'd have to discard the norths. I wouldn't do that. I think I would definitely try for half flesh. And then look for little points elsewhere, whether it be my weight, all concealed, fully concealed, Concealed and fully concealed, that would be number 62 for concealed. That's where you're concealed and, until you're ready to win, and then you claim a discard to win. That's too fun. And fully concealed, that's where you draw your winning tile yourself for a concealed hand. That's number 56, and that's four fun. So if we do half flush concealed, that might get us there. Half flush concealed, I think would be a good decision there. With an eye open for pure straight or all pung. Okay, we're going to go on to the next one. This would be for West Round. This time, let's say. We're going to be in south seat south seat west round we're going to get 13 tiles we got a flower this does not include score for your eight point minimum so it's an additional add-on score later when you get ready to score your hand so we're going to set that aside you get a point for every flower so that will not be in our eight point minimum we're going to get a replacement so we have two bams five seven we have one, three, five in cracks, and then we have a nice collection of dots and two single honors. So we have some options here. Since we have a potential chow here and here, I'm thinking there's a possibility for all simples. All simples, number 68, is two fawn. So we would need six more fawn somewhere. Six more fawn. There is some potential for a pure straight here, actually. Pure straight, pure straight, number 28, that's 16 fawn. I think what I would do is start by discarding the one because we still have chow potential with these two blocks. We have a three, five, three, four, and a five. We could maybe do mixed triple chow again. Mixed triple chows number 41, that is an eight fawn hand. I think I would shoot for either half flush, pure straight, or mixed triple chow with these tiles. So we have three through eight primarily. Three through eight, which are simples, 
three through eight. I was thinking I want to keep my eyes open for upper tiles, middle tiles, and lower tiles. Those are all 24 point hands, but we have too much of a spread. Then you have 12 point font or 12 font hands. The, these would be upper four and lower four, one through four and six through nine. But we have a pair here in the threes. So yeah, I wouldn't consider those at all. I think definitely half flesh, pure straight, or mixed triple chow would be what I would play here. If you would do something different, write west pull and what you would do with these tiles. We do have five, seven, five, seven. We could do five, six, seven, but we have no sixes. So that's a little choppy. I think three, four, five might be a little stronger, but I would say even still mixed triple chow would be plan B and half flush pure straight would be plan A. That's five discards though, which is at one more than what I try to have for my initial discards. So we are in South Seat and it's West Round, so this is not going to bring us any score. So really, that might be a good discard actually, the one crack and the East. This could potentially bring score. I think I would definitely start by discarding this one because the East, even though it won't bring score, it can help us get to that half flesh if we pair up. So now we're on to North Round, last pull. I rolled a seven, which is West. Let's exchange that flower. Okay, we have a nine, a one, a nine. Then we have one, two, four, five, nine in BAMs and honors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine tiles towards 13 orphans. 13 orphans is a coveted hand. That is going to be number seven. One of each wind and dragon, one and nine of each suit plus any tile paired, 88 fawn. I would go for it with nine tiles. 10 is a good guideline, but I am a visionary. I would start by discarding the three dot, shoot for a half flush, hold the 13 orphan tiles to see if it comes in. If we did 13 orphans, we would have one, two, three, four discards. So here we would need a west, a red and a white dragon, and a one crack, and then any of those tiles paired. I would go for it. Discard the three dot, go pick by pick and see what happens. If we draw in BAMs, go for a half flesh. If we fill in these gaps, go for 13 orphans. Nine tiles towards 13 orphans is a decent onset. 10 is better, but nine is decent. In my opinion, if you have ever had the pleasure of winning 13 orphans, it is is amazing and the oohs and ahs worth the effort. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, click that little gray bell. 
so that you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at that table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.